In this video, you will learn how to build a new operation and link attributes to this new operation. Creating custom operations allows users to better manage unique data contained in their management tree. To begin, open SMS. Before creating the custom operation, be sure that any new attributes that will be contained in this operation have been saved in the software. Navigate to the Tools menu and select the Management Item Editor. Click on the Operation button on the left and then click the Add New button on the right. In the Select Type of Operation to Create dialog, select if the new operation is a Crop Plan, General Logging, or Generic Operation. In this example, we will be creating a new operation to define management zones. So we will choose generic and click OK. In the edit operation window, input a name for the new operation. This name will be displayed in the management tree once new data sets are created. You can check to mark this as a favorite, which will display this operation at the top of the list in many locations, so that it is easier to find and select. Next, click the Operation Definition tab. On this screen, we need to select and add any attributes that should be associated with the new dataset to the right-hand side of the screen. Add your custom attribute name, as well as the yield dry. Click OK after selecting all desired attributes. Click Close on the Management Item Editor dialog. Now that a new custom operation has been created, to create a new dataset using this operation, go to your map and click New Generic Layer. Select the name you gave for the new operation and click OK. Select a grower, farm, and field you want the dataset in and click OK. After creating new, editing existing, or copying objects into the new layer, the Data Grid tab will display all attributes that we selected to be linked to the new operation. This new data can be included in maps, reports, and referenced in analysis items. You have now learned how to build a custom operation and assign attributes to that operation. For more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.